Don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you know when videos drop. Thanks for watching. Chasing peacocks off of India's fields where they grow their crops. Apparently, the wild peacocks that roam in India are causing all kinds of problems for the farmers. They're looking for ways to try to stop this from happening. The problem is, is I'm sure some of these fields were probably where the peacocks used to live and they got rid of trees and all the forestation of that area. And now the peacocks are just hanging out there and they find a place to eat. I don't know how many peacocks are there. I've never been to India. No plans on going there. We've done features before about India and their peacocks. I know very little except from what I read from in our New Indian Express article. They are going to install artificial falcons and dogs barking and they're going to put them by the field and they're going to experiment and see how that works. They are going to have these working during daylight hours when they feel that the peacocks are causing the most trouble. They are going to be activated every seven minutes for 30 seconds for the whole day that they're experimenting. I don't think that's going to work. If they would ask Mr. Peacock, I would tell them that once the birds get used to the sounds, once the birds know that nothing's going to come to them and harm them, they're going to go about doing what they normally do. It's sometimes hard to change them of their habits. Here's another problem. Our birds do not like when the crop dusters fly over our property very low and sometimes the local training pilots from the airport like to come here and fly very low and the peacocks look up in the air they think it's a bird of prey unless the bird of prey is in the air flying above the peacocks they're not gonna go anywhere the problem is also going to be that the peacocks will get used to this bird and dog and nothing's ever going to happen we always know that peacocks get used to their environment it'll be interesting to see maybe I'll be wrong and if I'm wrong I hope the people in India tell me so because I could correct that but I I'm guessing this is just a wasted time because there needs to be other methods of taking care of the birds. Here's what they should do. I suggest they should have feeding stations in various areas and spend money to feed the birds rather than spend, I think, six to seven thousand of their money in India to have this project. Yeah, is it worthwhile trying? Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that will chase the birds off. But I'm betting here the birds won't be chased off and it'll be a failed experiment. The people in Southern California where I've helped out all through the years for about 40 years now have tried everything from sounds to predator sounds to everything in the world that doesn't stop we're back to the same old issue how do we stop it you either deal with the birds or get rid of them all and I hope they never get rid of the birds of India because that's their national bird and I'm sure that's not what they want to do they just want to get them away from the crops get a feeding station and put it away from the crop spend the money on that rather than on these ridiculous sound effects they're not gonna work Prove me wrong. I'm looking forward to hearing comments. You can contact me on my website, pfowl.com, and tell me how it's working. We're waiting to see how this experiment works. Thanks for viewing. Hey, viewers, don't forget to make a donation. The link's below. Order the Wacky World of Pfowl books at pfowl.com.